I don't think they ever were. I think it's just one of those, you know, things that fans like us just got caught up in because we it's it's valuable information that we'd like to know more of. But since it's not something that they really, you know, like Dragon Ball is a very half assed show. Like you, you fucking know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. It's a very half assed show. So I promise you they were not thinking about. <laughs> Frieza's fucking backstory or his his lineage or anything like that. I mean, we we still don't even have Cooler. Ah, yeah, we're still waiting on Cooler. I I wouldn't say it's half fast. I would say it's not like like it's there's a clear direction no. that they have and they no, they always stop you right had. There. I'm gonna stop you right there and I'm gonna completely disagree because it is half assed and I'm gonna tell you why. Because good storytelling has a fucking has a whole it has a whole storyboard to it. It's got events, it's got things that make sense, things line up. What does Dragon Ball have? We have actuallys. Yeah, we do. We literally, we literally have actuallys everywhere in every fucking case, just so that things can make sense for once. Yeah, good storylines have mind fucks as well. Um, well, listen, that's what I'm. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not even disagreeing with that because it's true. But what I'm also trying to say is that, like, I'm, I'm. I'm trying to be realistic with even my own, like what I would want out of it, you know, because there's the shit that I would want to see out of it more than likely you guys are going to also like want to see that as well or variations or whatever, because as fans, we look at this shit and we're just like, wow, if they went in this direction or if this is what they're setting up for low key, it would be 10 times better, a hundred times better. It would make it seem like it's way more deep than, you know, what it, what it is. Right. And that's, that's its own, I guess, issue. I hate to even put it that way because we're trying to like almost optimize and maximize our own entertainment out of this show that we hold yeah. so dear in our hearts that that's literally what it comes down to it's like this is this goes this goes hand in hand with every single fan to this day that believe gohan needs to be redeemed right they don't understand that there is no redemption but because they love this character and literally remember him for doing what he did against cell and then the lack thereof of what he did during the boo saga that it didn't it didn't even measure up they feel like he needs to be redeemed so they hold on to that idea and they don't even remember how the character was intended and written like the purpose of you know everything right so like going back to us it's like we literally are seeing things like the primal instincts set up and the bardock stuff and freeze uncooler and all this shit we're seeing all this stuff happen before our eyes and we're literally putting all the dots together that would make most sense to us that i feel like if they were to happen it would make dragon ball like a hundred times like infinitely better but the reality is is that toriyama at some point early on never really anticipated dragon ball to be as huge and especially like a pop culture icon as it is today which is why it's half-assed but no but see that's the that's the thing it's not half-assed he never like he like like as a as a creator he did not like go into making this story like if it was supposed to be like attack on titan you know what i'm saying like he did not go into this story writing it like if it was supposed to be like demon slayer or uh death note like i'm trying to think of, of of animes that like made me go like what the fuck you know what i'm saying like shit with with plot twists and this and that like there's no comparison the like super super did that shit i don't really think z did it that much right like z i don't think there was i don't think there was well I feel like that stuff is very subjective because like I can tell you right now watching Dragon Ball Z as a kid a lot of the shit that I saw growing up 
I did not expect to happen. I was just watching yeah. every fucking week when it was coming That's on TV. True. You know what I'm saying? That's like, true. like it's different when we're talking about it now as adults. And it's just like, oh yeah, like it's it's so easy and convenient to try to be like, oh, it's half ass. Because now, like, there's all these other shows that are written and delivered differently. And it, the qualities doesn't even match. Like, like Dragon Ball has a legacy and it's so popular that even to this point, even where it's at right now being so commercialized, at its core, it still holds to, you know, whatever standard it had. It's not like, like Toriyama is still involved. Toyotaro is right there with him. And then it's a whole team of Toei. Literally, like, they're all bouncing off of each other, being like, hey, we should do this or we should do that. You know, yada, yada, yada. They're trying to literally, like, truly make, uh, you know, m deliver the fan service essentially like and 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 guarantee their own fucking profits i don't say i don't think that's half-assed at all i literally I, I literally think that everything that has happened they have they've meant it for how they wanted it to be and 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 there's even been things that that even happened throughout super that we did not expect like there's things that we expected we were just waiting for how it, w it was gonna happen you know because that's why we watch we want to see the outcome we want to see the the lead up and all that stuff so like i'm only defending the whole franchise because i recognize where it came from how long it's been around for and like it doesn't like the, the like this shit does not compare to, to mind fuck animes it doesn't like this is this is a show that we all grew up on it's super hype. This is a it, beat em up. It's it's a beat em up. And you know, it's it's literally still at the end of the day based off of Journey to the West. And like I'm sure if Geekdom was here, he would literally he would he would like there's a lot of uh connections to like Taoism and all this other shit that I I can't really fully talk about because I don't know half of the connections, but there's a lot. Like it, it, like this shit is this shit is deep in its own way that we do not understand but if you talk to someone that has seen journey to the west read journey to the west and they literally see all the fucking connection that toriyama literally did in the early parts of dragon ball into z and then some i mean and even the shit that he's doing now like bro it's it's not half ass it's not oh that's that good shit <laughs>